Hey everybody, welcome to Easy Freezy Meals. My name is Eric and today we are going to be making an absolutely scrumptious freezer meal. We're going to be making corned beef and cabbage soup. This soup really stands alone. Whether you have leftover corned beef in your refrigerator or not, it is worth getting some. Let me show you how we make it. The first thing we're going to do is chop up our corned beef. Now our corned beef is already cooked and if you want to see how we made it, check out that link in the top right hand corner. It is important to know that if you are going to cook your own corned beef, you do want to save the cooking liquid because that's going to add a lot of flavor to this soup. So we're going to go ahead and take all that corned beef that's been chopped and just set it in a bowl. In a pot large enough to handle all the ingredients, we're going to begin by sauteing some onions. We're going to cook these until they become translucent. Now at this point, I'm going to add in the cooking liquid from the corned beef that I had previously made. This liquid is incredibly flavorful and it's going to add a beautiful dimension to our soup. But if you don't have this, that's okay. Let's say you went to the store and bought already pre-made corned beef. You're just going to skip this step. So at this point, I'm adding that liquid in with the sauteed onions and we're going to go ahead and just give that a stir. And as always, you can find a link for the printable recipe in the description box below. Once we mix that well, we're just going to go ahead and add our diced potatoes. And then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients, which include diced carrots, yellow bell peppers, and minced garlic. What's great about this recipe is that the majority of these vegetables will cook while the soup is cooking. And if you have a large enough crock pot, this is a great crock pot recipe. So once you've added all your vegetables and you've got that mixed up well, go ahead and add your chopped corned beef and your favorite chicken stock. And you can get really creative with this recipe. So if you have extra vegetables laying around, broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, throw those in there as well, it'll be delicious. Now that our stock is added, we're gonna add our chopped cabbage. And you're gonna cook this for 30 to 45 minutes on a medium heat until your potatoes and carrots are tender. And here at the end of this recipe, we're gonna adjust for seasonings because typically corned beef is heavily seasoned and sometimes a little salty. And that's all gonna come out into your soup. So give it a little taste, a little black pepper, a little garlic powder, whatever you want, adjust as necessary and our soup is done. Enjoy this for lunch or dinner and whatever's left over, we're gonna package that into freezer friendly containers and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel and just checking us out, we'd like to say welcome. Easy Freezer Mills is a freezer mill business that I started about 10 years ago. And through this channel, we share all of our recipes, all of our tricks and tips and secrets so that you can learn from the, our mistakes. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. I try to make myself available. And here we are putting these in sous vide friendly vacuum sealed bags. They freeze incredibly well, just like this. And in every video, we not only show you how to make the freezer meal, but we're gonna show you what it looks like when you take it out of the freezer and you cook it up. Because I want you to know what it's gonna look like on your dinner plate. So this freezer meal has been in the freezer for about four months. And we're gonna take that frozen corned beef and cabbage soup and just place it in a pot of simmering water. It's gonna simmer for about 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, this is what our soup is gonna look like. This corned beef and cabbage soup looks amazing. It's so hearty. There's vegetables and beef everywhere. Let's give it a little taste and see what it tastes like. This soup is so delicious. The broth has all of those traditional corned beef flavors and the beef is incredibly tender. The vegetables are perfectly cooked and I've gotta say this freezer meal is a winner. I hope you get a chance to make it. If you have any questions about this corned beef and cabbage soup, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video or got anything out of it, a thumbs up would be helpful. We have chicken lo mein on the horizon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that episode. We'll see you soon.